Hi foodies, my name is Ebony, also known as Miss Mac. I just wanted to explain one of my posts about refraining from chicken and swine. I am personally a borderline vegan. I don't eat any meat. I do kind of, I am a baby cow sometimes and I eat cheese and dairy. However, I don't eat any meat anymore or seafood. This is not about, oh, I'm trying to get anyone to eat any type of way. Because for one, I'm not. I'm just sharing my knowledge and what I know. You eat what you want to eat. I don't really have an opinion on the way anyone chooses to eat. But this is more about a, a food safety and sanitation issue. Because we are experiencing the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. And clearly it's a sign for me to say this because I've had three conversations in the past day about this. Like two random people told me out the blue like make sure you don't eat chicken day i don't eat chicken anyway but clearly i'm supposed to educate you and pass this information it's my responsibility to deliver important information to you chicken was one of the the meats that was like the hardest for me to stop eating because i love it like i love every type of chicken for real the drums too not the flats i like the drums but and i know it's good so for me, I had to stop because I know too much. I saw the factories, I watched the documentaries, you know, I researched the antibiotics and the side effects. And, and I always say when you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. So like my diet choices, it has a lot to do with my research, my background, what I know. You understand what I'm saying? It don't, I don't judge you if you eat whatever. I don't care. I done ate every kind of food there is. Every type of meat, pig feet, chitlins, all that stuff. Like So I can't judge you based on that. I can't judge you, period. Everybody got their own issues. But I'm just saying, like, they're still... It's kind of like Drake saying, how am I keeping it real by keeping it to myself? Like, somebody may care. Somebody may care. If you don't care, you don't care. That's cool. But I still have to let you know. Like, just think differently about the food. Just think differently about what you're ingesting. Connect it to your emotions. You know, if you're ingesting sad, depressed animals, you're going to ingest that sad, depressed energy. Energy is never created or destroyed. You know that. It's not destroyed. You don't kill the energy when you cook it. That same energy from that animal, that flesh, you know, all of that stuff is being transferred somewhere. It's not, it's not just disappearing. So, you know, just kind of think about it. So basically, almost 2 million pigs and chickens were flooded and drowned in the hurricane not only that they were unable to access the food to send to them there was manure spillage as well this is just based on the research and the articles that i've read in the past day or so so i'm just thinking about where the chickens are going i had someone yesterday tell me be careful make sure you don't buy any pork or chicken product in the next couple of months because those animals that have been flooded are still going to processing. I'm a former foods teacher. I have over 10 years experience teaching foods and family and consumer sciences. So I learned a lot and it made me change the way I eat and change the way I view food. And one time on The Breakfast Club, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, sometimes you put too much trust in your enemies. He said, you love your enemies. You love their wealth. You love their possessions or something like that. I don't know for verbatim. But it always stuck out in my mind, especially when we're dealing with the food. I always think about that. Sometimes we put too much trust in our enemies because you don't know what they're doing in the food. You don't know what food, you know, we're ingesting. Like, you don't know what's in these vaccines. You don't know what's in a lot of this stuff. It's just, that's just a, a fact. That's not anyone's opinion. That's a fact. So I always keep that in the back of my mind. I always think about that. So it sparked my attention having that conversation. I'm not going to eat it anyway. But I thought about it like, wow, that does make sense. Like, what are they going to do with the animals? Are you really going to throw all that money away? Are you going to rent some off and send them back to production? This is the perfect time 
for you to start to look into start to make better food choices okay this is the perfect time for you to download my meal planning guide the borderline vegan meal planning guide this is the perfect time for you to detox enroll in my three-day detox course i can teach you i can help you it really i really wasn't going there to plug all my stuff but it only felt right <laughs> like okay this is a perfect time for you to say okay let's at least try you have to be careful. You have to be mindful of the energy that you put into your body. It's time for me to detox as well. So I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to help. And I'm going to deliver the information that I think you need to know. So this is another side of me. I'm an educator. I have over 10 years experience as a family and consumer sciences teacher, the home ec teacher. So yeah, that's what I do. And... I just really want you to be safe and nourish your body. I don't want you to overlook the obvious. Sometimes, you know, you got to pay attention to your common sense and not what people are telling you. I trust but verify. I say that even about myself. Don't just trust everything I say because information changes all the time. Look it up yourself. Do your own research. If it sparks your interest, go a little deeper. Find out more. You may teach me something. Who knows? I learn something new every day. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with anyone that you know that's going to be eating chicken tenders and bacon and pork chops. To share this video, even if one family changes their diet, I feel like, wow, it worked. Or even if you start to limit it, I would be satisfied with it. So let me know in the comments, do you even care? Like, are you one of the ones that's like, oh, well, they're going to die anyway. I'm still going to eat it. Or are you really thinking like, dang, do I really want some swine and some animals that have been drowning in feces? Do you really want one that has been starved and don't have the antibiotics that they're supposed to get? Because, you know, the animals take way more antibiotics than we do. So just imagine, just think about all of that stuff. Does it matter to you? Do you care? Do you not care? Oh, and that's another thing the worker told me today. He said some of the chickens that he see have four legs on it because of the hormones. I really should have recorded it, but I already knew that. And I'm just thinking like, and I asked him, which is, which is even more crazy. I said, do you still eat chicken? And he was like, yeah, I do. So, I mean, some people really just don't care, but some people like me and you do care. I'm going to at least tell you. Like, you do what you want to do. Because, like, I didn't judge him. I didn't say you stupid. But it made me think differently. Like, some people really, like, food is a drug. You like what you like. There are so many ways you can pour into me and send me love. You can check the links in my description. And I will see you soon.